Henry the Hamster Handler. What comes to mind when you hear a name like that? Even if you played the game, if you've never played the game, what type of game comes to mind when you hear a game name like that? And honestly, for me, I was expecting something like one of the older Hamtaro games, mainly Ham Hams Unite for a Game Boy Color, which was kind of an overhead adventure game. And I, I know some of y'all in the comments are just kind of looking at the screen like, is, is this guy serious? Trust me, that's a great game. And I kind of was hoping for something kind of like that when I was sent a review code of this game. But honestly, it's nothing like that. Instead, it reminds me a bit of Lemmings in a way. It's a puzzle game, a flat out puzzle game involving you guiding hamsters through nearly 300 different levels. So is Henry the Hamster Handler for Nintendo Switch worth your five bucks? We'll find out in today's review, which also happens to be sponsored by Viceroy Kicks, the achievement brand for gamers. This Kickstarter offers a wonderful new line of shoes for gamers, along with the ability to earn real life video game achievements. Link to the Kickstarter in the description below, and stay tuned to the end of the video to learn more about them. But for now, let's decide if Henry the Hamster Hamler off the Nintendo Switch eShop is right for you. Welcome to Stuff We Play, home of everything weird and retro, and if that sounds cool to you, why not subscribe? And you might be asking yourself, James, what's so weird and retro about an indie game? Well, many indie games have a weird retro styling to them, and some of them, such as this one, have a super weird premise, mainly they're trying not to get hamsters killed. Okay, I mean, you, you usually don't want hamsters to die, but you know, an entire game based on putting them in horribly dangerous situations and then probably giving someone at PETA an aneurysm. Henry the Hamster Handler is a game that I guess follows Henry, who's a hamster handler. And there are 300 different levels filled with different traps and obstacles and whatnot that you must guide various hamsters through. And I say, I guess that's what it's about, because no real story is given here. Once you get to the title screen, pressing A to start the game will literally thrust you right into the game itself. And that's it. You don't actually control any of the hamsters, but instead you have to time button presses in order to stop various obstacles to get them through each stage safely. Originally I was thinking this was going to be more in a fashion akin to Mario vs Donkey Kong, but really and truly it's just a game of quick time events. You see an A drop down, press A. Left, press left on the D-pad, right? Press right, etc, etc. And it doesn't really use any of the shoulder buttons from what I've seen, it's mainly just the face buttons and the D-pad buttons. To be fair, I think this game would land itself well on mobile, because it's simple enough that it definitely does feel like a mobile game. But on the Switch, it's really just nothing more than a time waster it feels. Especially since even though there's more than 300 levels, I honestly felt like I saw everything here after level 10. There's no real unlockables, and yeah there are different types of hamsters to save, but they don't really behave any differently, they are, they're all just kind of cosmetic differences. Which reminds me, the graphics in this game are okay. The tile screen looks great and has some of that Nickelodeon slime on it, and the hamsters themselves are nice and cute. But for some reason all these stages have these background images. They appear to be some sort of PNGs pulled off of Google Images and used with permission, but they randomly change whenever you restart the game, and along with them the music. I don't really know why they do this, and if anything, it doesn't really add anything to the game other than some confusion. As for the soundtrack, it's nothing really to write home about. Really and truly, you're just here for the gameplay, but at five bucks, and I know, call me a cheapskate all you want, but I'm not sure this game is worth it. This is definitely a game that you'd see on an iPhone app store and then would have ads on it, and then you know, you could probably pay a buck or two to get rid of the ads. As a $5 Nintendo Switch eShop game, there's really not much here. If you want something that's dirt cheap on the Switch eShop, Get Comico. I've talked about this game before, I believe it was my top 5 Nintendo Switch eShop games vid I did last year and that, that game is a Zelda clone and while it's rather short it does have 3 different playable characters of unique playstyles and will probably last a couple of hours. Meanwhile if Henry the Hamster Handler, while there's enough stages to also last a couple of hours, you probably won't remain interested past the first half hour or so. But would I recommend Henry the Hamster Handler for the Nintendo Switch eShop? And the answer is just no, you can do better. But I may be beginning to ramble on just a bit. What Nintendo Switch indie games should I look at in the future? Let me know down in the comment section below. And while you're at it, why don't you stay tuned so I can tell you more about Viceroy Kicks. And this awesome new shoe kickstarter for this achievement brand for gamers believes that gaming is something that has recently earned a reputation as something that has nothing but a negative influence. But of course, for the most part, the opposite is true. This is what Viceroy believes, and as such they are offering real life gaming achievements. One of their tiers of shoes is the competitive tier, 
which requires, for example, to be ranked in the top 15% of an online competitive game in order to even be able to get them. And at the very least, I think you should follow the link in the description below and go check them out. And if you feel so inclined, back them on Kickstarter. But while you're down there, why don't you subscribe to Stuff We Play for more great content like this, or even back us on Patreon, because every dollar earned from Patreon does go back into the channel itself. So with that, thank you very much for watching this short review. Stay classy, and I'll see you next time.